Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a compact, resettable, long duration pulse extender. So if we would press this button here, this lamp would be on for about 62 minutes. The advantage of this system is that it is resettable. So if you would come back later after 40 minutes and press the button again, then the lamp would still be on for an additional uh, 60 minutes. Um, here's for example a classic um, pulse extender by Codecrafted. So if you push the button here, um, the lamp will be on for uh, eight items in there, and then uh, it will turn off. But if I would press the button again, then yeah, no additional time is added um, to the signal duration. So that's the advantage of this system. If I would come back later and press the button again, it would uh, still be on for the additional time. So the extended signal duration depends on the number of items in this hopper. This is by the way the hopper clock by Titisur Minecraft. And uh, depending on the number of items in there, the signal uh, duration gets extended. Now we have two in there, that's about 24 seconds. And if it's filled, like with the example at the beginning, uh, with 320 items, it's 62 minutes. What you could also do, you could make a timer out of this one. So you need a dropper here. Yep. With an item in there and a hopper and back to comparator back on top and you need this comparator here and this solid block has to be a slab now so after pressing the button I would get a signal after 24 seconds so and this is how the system works the signal strength gets decreased by one by this monostable and if it reaches zero, then yeah, this torch would turn on and you get your output here. There you go, short pulse. And the size is still um, four, one, two, three, four, by four, by four. So six to volume. You could also make a clock out of it. Um, you only have to add a repeater here and a torch here. Now you would get a signal every 24 seconds. So um, if this signal strength is zero, basically this torch would turn on and yeah, start the cycle again. So let's wait for it. Five. There you go, get a short pause and then the sync strength is back at 15. So, uh, yeah, last thing I show you how to build it. So, you need the hopper clock by TT Server Minecraft. And compare it as here. Torches here. Another hopper pair. And the comparators. That's yeah, the hopper timer. Then you have to add a torch here with a dropper and a hopper. So let's put items in there. There's one uh, stackable item. Then this uh, hoppers uh, are responsible for the signal extension. So let's just put three in there. And obviously there's one. Then the next thing you need is a comparator on top of this hopper. That goes into a another comparator, which is on the subtract mode. And it loops around. So yeah, basically the signal gets stored here. Oops. And you need a slab here. And this torch prevents the uh, yeah, timer from running. So, yeah, and as I showed before, if you want to have timer that gives off a signal, you have to 
add this mono stable here and a block here with a comparator. So that's what be the output. Uh, yeah, and also you have to remove the solid block here and make a slab. And that would be the mechanism that would start the system automatically every time. Yeah. Um, also, the input can be anywhere. So, for example, here or here or here. Also, make it like this. So, yeah, where you want the input. Also, the output would be the same for the signal extender. You could take the output here or here or from this blocks. And this would be the output for the timer. Hope this was useful. Goodbye.